Apparently, Focus Home Interactive is making trouble for Ukrainian studio Frogwares, mostly known for their games about Sherlock Holmes adventures. In their blog post, Frogwares claimed that despite the end of the license agreement between them and their previous publisher, Focus Home refuses to transfer the title IDs back to the creators and even taking down those games from all storefronts. This list includes titles such as Megrunner, Dark Balls and three games from Sherlock Holmes series. Most of them are already removed from digital storefronts on consoles. PC players should worry only about Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishment, which is going to be removed from all platforms on September 29. Other games from this list were self-published by Frogverse on Steam and hopefully not going to be affected by this unfortunate situation. According to the statement that Focus Home sent to developers only last week, Focus has put in place a policy in accordance with which they will not transfer any title belonging to any developer which has removed all of their games from the Focus catalog. Which is weird, because Frogware stopped working with this publisher almost four years ago. So in this case, I believe the developer who claims that there were no such policies in any of their previous or existing contracts with Focus Home. Frogwares are the creators and IP owners of all those games, and it's terrible that they lost control over their creation and can't do anything to force Focus Home to give them back. For me, this whole situation brought thoughts about the real reasons why Frogwares and Focus Home parted their way back in 2015. Not many people remember, but back in 2040 they announced the development of Call of Cthulhu, game based on Lovecraft stories. But in 2015, after almost 10 years of working with Focus Home, Frogwares suddenly announced that their new Sherlock Holmes game will be published by Big Ben Interactive. In December 2015 they also shared new concept art from the upcoming Lovecraft game that was still in development, and eventually changed its name to The Sinking City. But in 2016, Focus Home announced that they didn't give up on their plans about low crowd game either, and they partnered with Cyanide Studio to finish Call of Cthulhu. No official statements about this situation were released, but looks like Frogverse and Focus Home didn't part their way peacefully. Honestly, this situation is really shitty. Frogverse is an independent studio, and to lose rights over their past work like this, at the moment of the recording of this video, Focus Home didn't provide any official statements regarding this situation. In their blog post, Focus Home said that the decision of Focus Home put them in a tough situation and they asked for the help of any parties that can help them and possibly have influence over the situation. As someone who enjoyed playing old Frogwares games, I want to ask Focus Home only one question. What the hell are you doing?